Hello everyone. Uh, many students are asking questions about uh, the project traffic log uh, and how you integrate software together. Um, so I think I'm going to show uh, some of the stages of this project and I hope uh, this video helps. Uh, there are small tricks here and there and I hope I can show them here. So this would be the, the program, the LAD program. Right now I have only two timers, so I'm assuming we have only red and green light. Okay, but for you it will be a lot more comprehensive. You will have red, yellow or amber and um, green. And also you will have a pedestrian light added at the end. So here if I um, just show what we have here, it's very simple. Let's go to offline. I'm just turning things on with the switch. I have my first timer and then uh, the enable and the down pin are connected to each other this way and they are going to turn on my light. This is, if I'm not mistaken, is my green light. And then um, the down pin is turning on my second timer these parts are easy for you because you have done it last semester so down pin and enable pin are connected to each other and they are turning on my red button uh, red uh, light sorry and that's it so I don't have a loop it's happening only once but if I uh, keep turning it on and off the whole system of the switch so you will see that on graphbox a uh, few things that uh, we need to uh, be careful is the the way that we are naming them so you should be careful about the the down pin and enable t uh, enable pin of each timer how you're addressing it don't be confused with that another thing is the way that we are addressing the output if you're using the output, if you have different type of uh, program and if you use the down pin or enable pin of the timer directly, so you won't see the, the issue that I'm going to describe. But if you are using the OP, O bits from the output here, what would what you would see on a quick client is that um, it is very important how you use the address otherwise instead of one and zero you will see bytes so you're not going to have bit here you're going to have bytes and the reason is because when you look at the category of O so you would see that we have four four category so this entire part that is highlighted with blue color that is going to have this address and this entire line is going to have this address so be careful of that um, for example here my output has address of you can see it is zero zero slash zero so I'm using the very first very first bit of my first byte. I hope that makes sense. For the second one, I just want to not to be confused between bytes. So I, I'm using the following address, which I'm going to show in a second. So here my address is First bit of did you see? I'm just going to it. I hope that makes sense now. So I'm using from my category the first bit of my second. Just want to make it clear for everyone to understand what's happening here. So this entire thing will have this address. And I'm using only the first bit here. I want it to be very clear differentiated from the very first bit that I had. 
I just for purpose of you know making sure that everyone understands how this addressing is working here now and then on the um what else i want to remind everyone because uh, i'm receiving many questions and i'm trying to remember all of them so here if you see that they are counting up instead of being zero and one that means that when it comes to addressing you have used uh, the byte address instead of bit address so uh, be careful of that so here you can see the way that the addresses are written um, take care of that another uh, question that i was receiving was on um classic let me open my classic on classic um i received many emails that uh, you don't see your file here if you see the file here it is fine you just click on the left right and you click on the right file and if you don't see the apply activated here you just click on the wrong place and go back to the right place and then the apply appears okay so this is this part and if you don't see anything if this part is clear you just make something up something that is related to your by pressing this this uh, new and then you just name something and don't forget about clicking done so um, none of the softwares should be closed everything should be up running when you want to test your program um, for the kept server for kept servers uh, I received some questions that uh, when you are making device you don't see the tag that is because you haven't done that part properly on classic if you do the good job uh, on in classic if you have your macrology here working your emulator working and you have done great job here for topic configuration okay then uh, you should see that device working and keep in mind that uh, that device and channel will work only and only with gateway uh, classic gateway not the light that's why we had to register for uh, that trial license now let's go back to the program this is in runtime and this is it i want to have my quick client also open for everyone to see that hopefully now if you find it difficult to have uh, you know the addressing done properly based on bit or byte i advise you in a way to manage to use the enable or done pin of your timers because it seems that they are uh, you know uh, easier to okay here we go i'm going to um, download and go in run mode Now, I uh, try to capture it in a way that uh, it shows that my zeros and ones. So, let's use my cursor. Right, here we go. Uh, for easier understanding it, I put this button here, but for you, it doesn't have to be there. Um, you For your pedestrian, yes, you need that. But I just want to have it handy here just to show. Now, I'm going to have green one two three four five should put red and then should go off and i hope you can see the bits are changing now look at the bits i'll show it one more time so at this time i want to capture that output um i don't know how i can show that in a way that okay okay here is my first output and 
here is my second output which I call it red all right so here we go I'm going to press that I shoot the bits in after this that is the green one and here we go the red one goes off because it's not a loop now uh, this time pay attention to the bits right now bits are zero now one for the green and here we go for the red and done i hope this video helps